to the third video in our Sacred Truth series that explores the power of bioidentical hormones. Now, these hormones, even when made in a laboratory, carry a molecular structure that so closely resembles the molecular structure of natural hormones made by glands in your own body. That's important to know. And here's something else important for you to know. Any other so-called hormones are not hormones, they are drugs. And these include all the highly promoted pharmaceuticals prescribed for HRT. You know, working with people as closely as I do, I've learned far too much about the suffering of those who in their ignorance have opted to walk down the road of these synthetic drugs. By swallowing synthetic substitutes such as those given to half of the participants in the huge Women's Health Initiative study of 2002, this can seriously undermine their health and your health and make you very highly susceptible to serious illnesses, including cancer. The study involved 40 large medical centers in the United States and 6,608 women. It was supposed to have lasted for eight and a half years, but researchers were actually forced to end it at five and a half years, and this was as a result of far too many unexpected dangers surfacing to those who had been prescribed synthetic HRT. If you don't know all about this, now would be a good time to go back to our last video and to review it, because it really does matter. Okay. When I wrote my biggest book on menopause, Passage to Power, Natural Menopause Revolution, few women had ever even heard of bioidentical hormones. Even fewer practitioners knew much about the important role that bioidenticals can play in improving health and slowing down the aging process. Instead, women all around the world had been taught to believe that synthetic drugs were the answer to female problems. Already, of course, pharmaceutical corporations were busy flogging their wares to the media, to the medical profession, and directly to women themselves who did not realize that these drugs are capable of not only undermining health in the long run, but sometimes even ruining lives. Anyway, I knew there was a better way, and I was determined to find out what it was. I studied the visionary work of many knowledgeable pioneers for change. They included prolific writer Dr. Ray Peet, female Canadian endocrinologist Dr. Geraldine Pryor, and, of course, Dr. John Lee, the family physician who'd spent years exploring the actions of a plant-derived natural form of progesterone and making it available to women in most countries. John taught me everything he'd learned. And within a few months, we'd become very close friends. Of course, that was then. And it was quite a breakthrough. But what about now? Well, sadly, far too many men and women now remain unaware of the wonderful transformations that are now possible with the use of carefully selected bioidentical hormones. Of course, happily, knowledge about this is steadily growing Unfortunately, so is the persistence of multinational corporations who have no concern with healing, saving lives, and slowing aging. Their goals are simple. Increase profits at all costs. You know, I've been determined to discover as much as I can about good things that are happening right now in the realm of bioidentical hormones. I've explored some of the work of some of the best practitioners working in these fields. These include Dr. Tessa Jones. She's a gifted and dedicated female practitioner that's much admired for her work and her lectures on anti-aging and bioidentical hormones. Then I tackled the writings and presentations of Belgian physician Dr. Thierry Hertog. His goal is to optimize health for every patient while delaying, at times even reversing, aging. Then I came across the work of a brilliant American endocrinologist, Dr. Henry Lindner, an expert in metabolism and bioidentical hormone replacement, as well as a man of great vision in regard to the nature and workings of the whole universe.
What I've learned from them and from others is that the possibilities for transforming health naturally and slowing aging have never been better, provided, of course, that we're willing to learn and make use of their skills and their wisdom. Now, given that our environment is becoming more and more contaminated by poisons, pesticides, and junk food, there's never been a better time for us to make use of the valid knowledge that is available to us and the help being made available to us in the form of bioidentical hormones. Unfortunately, hormone deficiencies are now widespread, yet They are too often ignored by conventional medicine, which has absolutely no idea how to handle them. A hormone deficiency, well, it's akin to a deficiency in one or more specific nutrients that your body does not make for itself, but which it needs more of to support your health. When, because of illness, poor diet, pollution, or the aging process itself, your glands are no longer able to produce the levels of hormones that your body needs in order to truly thrive, then you have a hormone deficiency. What are some of the common signs of hormone deficiencies? Well, say a woman who's deficient in one or two of the estrogens that make up female sex hormones. She may find herself losing hair, especially at the top of her head. And this is something that often takes place around the time of menopause because glands are producing far too little estrogen. Or, if there's not enough progesterone being made in a woman's body, she can find herself developing abdominal obesity. For each of the body's hormones, there can be a number of signs that may indicate a hormone deficiency. Take cortisol which is a vitally important hormone because it gives us lots of energy. If you become deficient in adequate cortisol, you may find yourself feeling dog-tired all the time or continually stressed. Another sign of being deficient in cortisol is a tendency to constantly complain and blame others around you for how you feel without realizing that it is actually your own health that is in need of support. Then there's DHEA, which is made in your adrenals, and it's another hormone that's so important to your health. A common sign of DHEA deficiency can be moderate levels of anxiety, which are hard to shake. Your body's natural hormone production is rich, and it can be hard to understand since unless you're aware of how interdependent all your hormones are, they need each other. They need each other in order to thrive. Here's a sample of how this takes place. Cortisol, on which vitality depends, creates energy by consuming tissues in your body. Meanwhile, DHEA protects against the consumption of too many tissues. As the body ages, we want to make sure our DHEA production is high enough to create balance between cortisol and DHEA so they're actually working in harmony. Actually, cortisol production can also be improved by identifying and then correcting any other hormonal deficiencies that influence the working of the adrenal glands, well, such as testosterone, for instance, which can also support good cortisol levels. Okay, next week, we'll look at some very important questions in regard to bioidentical hormones, such as, how does one identify hormonal imbalances? Are there any special foods and drinks that can help support your body's glands for the best possible hormonal health? Or how good or poor are standard laboratory tests as a means of identifying hormonal deficiencies? And many more. All right, see you then.